South Pacific uh, is one of the great, great five, I think, Rogers and Hammerstein shows. It's about uh, a young nurse who's serving in the South Pacific during World War II, who falls in love with an expatriate French plantation owner who happens to have two mixed race children from a former marriage. And because of her Arkansas upbringing, she, though she's in love with him, she has a bit of a hard time coming to terms with this racial issue. Another part of the story is a, uh, a young army lieutenant who falls in love with a young native girl and goes through a, a very similar uh, conflict about mostly what would happen to him socially should he marry this young girl and take her home. So what Rogers and Hammerstein have taken on is the subject of racism in a musical in 1949. It's full of colorful characters, sailors and marines, and one of the most colorful characters in all of the musical history, Bloody Mary. And it's full of great songs. So it really runs the gamut from sort of good old fashioned musical comedy to very serious, hard hitting musical theater. There's a certain romanticism too to, for the older folk that surrounds what World War II was about. It was the last great romantic war. Everything changed after that. There's a real nostalgia about it that I think South Pacific captures like no other musical ever has. I think the reason people will want to come see it is because it is one of the greatest pieces of musical theater ever written. It's, it was the second musical to ever win the Pulitzer Prize. The fact that it actually deals with American history that we study, but it deals with it in a really sort of microscopic way of this one little island in the South Pacific at the time. And I just think that it has a really important message that still resonates.